Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. I finished a vlog this morning and I thought while I was thinking about it, I'd start another one. So I just finished an entire day of editing and uploading and all of that. I honestly thought that last week's vlog, I couldn't remember what I had done and what I had, what, you know, how long I had been vlogging and it's a long one and I apologize. You guys can feel free to break it up into several days worth of vlogs. That is fine with me. I know how hard it is to sit and watch. Uh, you know, sometimes I can sit and I'm just, I'll, a lot of times I'll have a bubble bath and I'll put it on my little um, phone holder and I'll just sit there and take a bubble bath and relax and watch somebody's vlog. But I honestly had no idea how much I talked and maybe that's because I hadn't vlogged in so long. So I'm actually wearing the same outfit that it's the same day that I finished that vlog that I'm starting this one. So um, I will try my very best to make this less chatty this time. I'm not even sure what I'll vlog about, but um, we are about to head out and run some errands. I'm probably not gonna take you with me, but um, well, maybe I will. So we are about to leave. We are actually in our work van. Say hi, baby. Hey guys. Let's get started, drive safely. And drive safely. And drive safely. So I wanted to show you this bracelet I got. It's actually a leather wrap bracelet. I got a few things. Uh, one of my neighbors did a jewelry party called Noonday, Noonday Collection. And what I like about this wrap bracelet is I actually cut off about three inches that was left on there and I made it fit me. I think it's just fine. It's unique. Now, I haven't seen anybody else. I mean, I like the wrap bracelets, but they're usually, this one wraps around my hand three times. So as you can see the, ooh. Can you see the crystals in there or the beads? I just thought it was really pretty, kind of fun. So we are gonna go run some errands and probably get some dinner, right baby? Dinner. What are you thinking for dinner? I, not Jersey Mike's. Not, we had Jersey Mike's for lunch. He brought Jersey Mike's home. So that'll, he, we always get the giant one. I, I love the way we do this because I just order it on my app and it's ready by the time he gets there and picks it up and brings it home to us and we have lunch. So we always buy the giant, that way we have lunch for several days. Right. At least two days. At least two. At least two days. So um, kind of depends on what we get. But we're gonna run the streets a little bit and we got the puppies all situated at home. With the, I know, I, I'd leave the TV on. I know a lot of people think that that's wasteful, that they don't care. I feel like they do. So they're working on the cable down here. I mentioned this in my last vlog. We haven't had cable here at all. Look how much they put on the front porch for fall. Can you see that? It's crazy. They're actually down here where the big box is doing stuff. There is our clubhouse area and the neighborhood pool, which we have actually never been in because we have our own pool. Oh, Matt Monique's yard. This is where my best friend lives. And they've got holes all over their yard see I mean look how many of these piles of mud it just goes all the way down the street so they've been doing throughout the neighborhood oh my goodness that's closer than 12 feet it's yeah close. it must be a little tougher down here it's, you know the Georgia clay gets so compacted down they have to right can only go so far in between for their little machine to push it through but this is magic for us. I mean, this is something we've all in this neighborhood been wanting for a long time. A lot of the homeowners that live out here, we live um, in the woods. Uh, we're, we're in a little tiny town and we, you drive kind of way out here. There's only one entrance to and from our neighborhood. And we all, we all either purchased or built our homes there for the remoteness of it, where it's still close enough to get to a grocery store. It's about a 25 minute drive to a grocery store, right? Other than the little tiny one in downtown. Um, but and it has great meat, but not everything else you need there. Um, but we all knew that moving out here, but a lot of us work from home. And when you have a poor internet connection and you want, and, and now everything is requires internet, it kind of sucks. So, but they're fixing that now. Finally, um, Adam called, how many times do you think you called to ask for them to bring cable into our neighborhood? At least 20. And they kept saying, no, not coming out. Oh, it's just stop her, stop her, stop her. Let's give her this. Hold on one second, guys. So we just uh, chased down my male lady. Her name is Bridget. She's so, she's just the happiest person. She's so outgoing and so cheerful. And I'm looking forward to giving her Christmas cookies and stuff this year. So, but I had a Nordstrom return that's been sitting in my kitchen. I keep forgetting to take it anywhere. And it doesn't fit in my mailbox. So chased her down one errand, taken care of before I even left the neighborhood, right? 
What was I saying before? I don't remember. We're talking cable. Cable. So, okay, so back to the cable thing. We're really excited to have the cable in there. It will make life a whole lot easier. So, anyway, we're going to go run some errands. I probably will not check in again tonight unless something exciting happens. Maybe I can get him to stop by Target. You know what I really want to do is go to Kirkland's. Yeah. Oh, me too. I've been <laughs> dying for some Kirkland's. You've been dying for some Kirkland's? What do they right. sell at Kirkland's, baby? Smells. Lots of smells. At Kirkland's? It's just as I... bad as Bath and Body Beyond or whatever. <laughs> Bath and Body. It's Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath and Beyond. Same store. No, it's not. Okay. This is not even close to the same store. I Bed Bath and Beyond has some candles, but Bath and Body Works has no towels. And that's where we buy our towels and our comforters and all that fun stuff. All right, guys, I'll chat with you later. Good Tuesday afternoon. Um, it's actually not quite noon yet. Um, I spent the morning doing some filming, doing some unboxings, and I am headed to go have lunch with Emily. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a mother, a short mother daughter day today. We actually both have a little bit of time. And so we're going to meet for lunch and maybe walk through Target. But I'm hoping to be able to pick up the camera and film. I am with Emily. We are about to go grab some lunch and I think we're going to go into Joanne's afterwards. Yes. Okay, so we are now walking through Joanne's, seeing what we can find here. I'm going to look at the fall decor too. Yeah, I know. So cool. we're going to look at some fabric. She's making animal blankets for dogs and cats. That's so cute. Oh, that is pretty. It's definitely your colors. Yeah. I That's like pretty. this. That's neat. How much is it? $39.99. Yeah, well, they always have sales points. It's 50% 50 off. 50% off, yeah. That's, That's definitely more prices, my style. When I see their prices, I'm like, yeah. It's always on sale. I think this is cute, but I wish the Let's Stay Home was a little brighter. And I'm thinking about when you're wiping your hands off on that. Yeah, and you just got glitter from that all over. It. Oh, it's glittered. Or oh, I like the leaves. Look at these. I like this. That's neat. What would you use it for? Oh, ribbon. <laughs> Welcome to our pumpkin patch. That's cute. Let's walk oh, down this aisle. Too. Oh my gosh. That's cute. With the tassels. Mm -hmm. I walk down this aisle every time I come. Happiness is coffee on a fall day. Look at the size of this one. Ah, oh, I love fall most of all. I want more things that say autumn. Autumn. Yeah. We don't use that word much here. Mm -mm. But I like that. Autumn. All the cozy vibes. Hey, look at the plaid one. That's cute. I wish they would do more latte cups because we always do lattes. This is, these are the pumpkins that I bought for uh, a YouTube room. Ah. It goes up on the shelf. You've been shopping here a lot. Yes. I That's have. why there's nothing left. Look how cute this is. That is cute. Oh my gosh. Baby pumpkins. They're so little. I don't have any of the um, squishy pumpkins. Well, since I'm learning how to sew and everything, I'm going to. Yeah, she's been taking that. sewing lessons. Emily, look at this throw blanket. I can make that. What? <laughs> so for these. Well, as long as I buy the fabric, honestly, though, like this is, that's just braided. Right. Now that I'm looking at everything closer, I'm like, wait a minute. Do you think minute. that would match my living room? Yeah. Do they have any more of those? Actually, I don't really need another blanket right now. <laughs> just for my doggies. Autumn greetings. There you go. There's an autumn. Yeah, but I don't do signs like that, you know? I'm not you have more signs in your house than I have in my house. I took a lot of them down. Did you? Mm -hmm. They're going up in my yard sale. And it's Christmas! No, oh, Clarence. Clarence, Clarence, Clarence. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> you can't really see it on the camera. Oh. Those are cute. That is cute. What do you put in it? And they're light. I don't know. Maybe like a tiny itty bitty. Bitty boat. candle? Yeah. 
Those are cute. If I decorate for Halloween this year. I'm reducing the amount of candles and actually yesterday I made a big purchase from Scentsy. Um, I did it under Terry from Southern Yankee. I got two burner or wa uh, warmers and one that you plug into the wall. So three devices and a whole bunch of different flavors and you know, sense of the wax. I want to try them. And here's all the ones here. All right. So I'm going to hang up for hang up for now. I'm going to I'm going to stop recording. I'm probably going to say let's say goodbye real quick cuz we're going to get busy doing this. So it's finally mother daughter day. I love you. Love you. Okay, so I've just walked through the door. I had a lovely several hours, about 3 hours with Emily. We went and had a half a salad and half a sandwich at Nukes for lunch. And then we ran over to Joanne's. Um, I wanted her, she makes those really cute tie blankets. I used to make them, but you know, I don't have the time to do it anymore. But she makes them and I wanted her to make one for Jackson, one for Indigo. They keep pulling my blanket from where I sit. I don't like that door being open. It's like a black hole back there. But they keep pulling my blankets down from my bed and from my where I sit in the living room. I think it's just because they want to cuddle and it's gotten cooler and I think they just want to snuggle. So I picked out um, two different for, for they're going to be different. Um, Jackson, they're going to match, but they are different. And then she's going to make the same ones for Georgia and Cade. So I'll let you see those when she's done making them. Um, it's going to take her a few days to do it. So it'll probably be about a week or so. Maybe on my next vlog, I'll show you the blankets that she's made for the dogs. But I picked up a few items. Um, this is something I've been wanting to get for uh, over a year. And when I would think about getting it, they were out of stock and they had them in stock and Joanne's had it on sale. So I picked up the Easy Press 2. This is that big one um, to make my own screen print or graphic t-shirts. Um, I already have a Cricut Air, whatever it's called, and I have vinyl or I've got the iron-on iron -on stuff. So easy to just print those out, but now I have, I'm going to make them myself and some of them are going to be actually for work. So I picked up three shirts. I got a, for Adam, I picked him up just, I got all black this time because it's coming up Halloween, a long sleeve. Was this by Gild Gilden? I got a short sleeve for him as also. And then they didn't have a medium for me, but I liked this one anyway. It is actually a little hooded long sleeve tee. It's a thin, I got, I think I got a medium. I did. It's also by Golden, but it's a thinner weight. And this would be great for layering with a vest or something, but it has the little hood. So those would be my three practice iron on, hopefully. I mean, I've been cutting vinyl for several years now. I make them for details on the back of my car or Emily's car or signs you know I've, I've been using that for a lot of different things for several years now also for work um, i wanted to get a few little halloween decor items that w at my house i decorate okay well indigo just puked give me a sec okay so at my house we decorate more in a kind of adult halloween um it's more on the scary side than it is on the cutesy side. When my kids were little, I did the cutesy stuff. But now that they're grown and out of the house, I do a little more wicked, scary. You know, I've got this giant werewolf. If you go back to last Halloween, I think I did a little tour in the daylight. It looks a whole lot better when it's night. But anyway, I figured I'd pick up just a couple little cutesy, um, non-breakable things. Got a trick-or-treat and a happy Halloween. And then I got a little wooden sign that says happy halloween and all of this was 40 percent off and a couple little spools of black and orange ribbon and as you can hear emily is calling me now good friday morning i i don't think i picked up the camera since tuesday um we've been busy and it's a good busy so we've been playing with the dogs a lot we've been busy working um just getting some stuff done around here 
I finally took off my nail polish. This is, I think this is probably gonna take a good 10 months or so to grow out. That was that um, part of the injury done to my hand and I don't, I just didn't feel like coloring, you know, putting paint on my nails, I put clear on. So that's gonna show. It's just like a blood underneath the nail that's gonna have to slowly grow out of my fingernail. That's why I've been painting them so much. But anyway, didn't have time to do it this morning. I am wearing my new little shirt that I got. I think this was a Shop Your Looks that I got on Stitch Fix. I love it. I'm just wearing it with my little gold belt that I got from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. It's suede with a little gold and some little um, bootleg jeans. So I do have to run a few errands today. I um, have to do a little bit of work outside the house, come home, do some work inside the house, and then I have to work tonight. So I did get a Grove box in. They leave a little note that says, stay safe, Heather, right across the top of the box. It's very sweet. Um, I did place an order just for a few, um, kind of fill in cleaning supplies, if I can speak. One of the things I picked up, um, these are for my dogs. I have been using baby wipes to wipe their feet and their necks and stuff when they get outside, they get dirty and play. And I've actually learned that that's not great for them. Um, I, I guess I assumed that since they were safe for baby, they're safe for dogs, but dogs can lick it off. And so I am changing that. I picked up these earth rated dog wipes. The scent is lavender, but they are for their alcohol free, combustible, compostable, not combustible, what? Compostable and hyperallergenic. Um, I went with the lavender scent oh, because I, I like my dogs to smell good, you know, and sometimes Jax comes in a hot dog smelling and he's got the slobber down his chest hair because he's been running and catching a ball and sliding through the pine straw and all that fun stuff. So I picked up some of those. I do have a, um, in fact, let me grab it real quick. So this did not come from Grove. This came from Amazon, but where this is great to throw in a bag or whatever, it's not easy to grab a wipe out of here one handed when you're dealing with your dogs. So I picked this up, it's by OXO. You literally just do that. And this is a weight with a hole in the middle. You put your wipes down at the bottom. It's actually for baby wipes. And that's what I have in here right now. And they smell really good, but I'm actually gonna take these out and refill it with my dog wipes. Just one more way to keep my dogs healthy. So, but I leave this, we have a little um, three tiered shelf right next to our door going coming in from the garage where we come in out in and out of all the time with the dogs and I wipe down their feet before they come in. I'm a, I'm a clean freak. I don't like dirt in my house and wiping down their paws with a wet wipe. I mean, you guys get a wet paper towel, but right there, it's not a, I don't have always wet paper towels. So this just is a better alternative for me and it's safer for my dogs. So I'm gonna put that over there and swap, the, swap those out. All right, what is this? Oh, this was my free gift. This is reusable bags. I guess when you hit a certain price point, you get a free free gift. They are like a Ziploc. Oh, it came right off. It's like a little Ziploc. I mean, you could put a sandwich in there. You could put a little snack to take with you. Um, that's a good little Ziploc too. It's got little fall leaves on it. Perfect for fall. It's got acorns. And then there's a little bitty one too. This would be great for like some nuts or some grapes or whatever. So I'm going to wash those up. I picked up, uh, and I did not need this, so, but I use the um, glass soap dispensers in all of my bathrooms. Wow, that sucker's in there, good. There we go. But they had one with a copper top, and I just thought that was so pretty. That's gonna go in my guest bath on the main level. In our bathrooms, it's silver and white, and everything in there is silver, but I just thought this was pretty. So I picked up a little glass soap dispenser. I picked up, now, okay, I placed this order and then a few days later, I was actually watching somebody do it and they, I had picked up apple cider hand soap and then I heard it smells like men's cologne. So I'm very disappointed in that. No, it doesn't, it smells like apple cider. Okay, I take that back. I am not disappointed in that. But I do wish this had been in a, in a bag so I could pour it in there, but they were out of stock of a lot of items. I mean, a, a lot of places with cleaning supplies are out of stock with a lot of items, and this was just one of them. I did also pick up this bag. This is the Lemon Eucalyptus Mint. So this will probably, I'll put this in that glass bottle and then I'll refill it with this one. 
for the next time. Um, I really like this method squirt and mop. This one is the Spirit and Sage. I've actually used this one before. It's just a very, it doesn't, the scent doesn't linger very long, but when I'm not, not when I'm deep cleaning, but especially after a rainy day and my dogs are running out of the house and I have little puppy prints all over the floor, I like to use um, a, it's a, what is it called? I think it's my Bona, but it's not the squirt mop. It has a little pad that you just go around. It's a dry mop or whatever. I spray a little bit of this. It gets up the puppy wipes and you just throw that in the washing machine. So I really like the scent. I finished mine up, so I bought another one. I have something wrapped in paper here. Oh, this is a Purify Clean. Uh, this goes with something. It goes with this, I think. No, okay. I have this little OXO brush caddy, and this one's actually up. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Give me just a second, okay? Okay, that one was important. That was work. But anyway, I have this one, and this was my final refill brush of this. But I'll tell you, it gets gross fast. So I thought I would try, and I don't know if it's because there's soap in here that's constantly feeding down in there, but I thought I would try the little Grove one. So I'm not sure how much, definitely cleaner. It's a little white ceramic. This keeps it raised. There's little holes inside here. And then the brush can air dry sitting on top. So I thought I would try that one. Not yet, once this brush gets gross. I, what's weird is I only use this to clean my dog's bowls. So maybe I'll have one for the dogs and one for me. Um, all right, maybe this is what I bought that for. Okay, yes. This is for a room spray. And I'm constantly buying like little, oh, I have these bottles in here, that's hilarious. Um, I'm constantly buying little aerosol bottles to spray in the rooms and I wanna stop doing that. So I picked up the little set here. You mix this with like, um, let's see. Peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil. I have a foggy eye right now, so I'm having a hard time. Something other oil. But anyway, I believe that you mix this with water. I have distilled water, so so this is let's just smell it. I got the purify, just to kind of purify the air and keep things clean, because, oh yeah, it's nice and clean. My husband's probably not gonna like it much, but. So I got that, um, and then I picked up, much to my husband's dismay, the dish soap and the apple cider vet, um, scent. I like scented dish soaps. I did pick up a backup brush for when this one gets ooey gooey, and some more floor cleaner, which I just mix with water, when I think that's actually what you're supposed to do. To stuff the cap, dispense into a 16 ounce grove silicone sleeve spray bottle, fill bottle with water, replace nozzle, and shake gently. I have a hack for this. So what I've been doing with this is my Bona spray mop. Instead of buying the replacement Bona bottles, which I have, and I have the concentrate to fill this, but they're refillable. So I can put this down inside there, fill it with water and do the same type of thing and it sprays right onto my floor. So, and I mean, I have a lot of little, um, the silicone sleeve spray bottles around my house in different areas for different things, shower spray, um, countertop spray, whatever. But this was my, I think that's everything that's in there. Yep, that was my little Grove box. I think the last Grove box I got was giant. And I think I have one more. Yeah, one underneath my sink. I had one more of these left. So that's, just go ahead and put that down here where it goes. So other than that, I really don't know. I'm trying to drink my smoothie and I keep forgetting I have it. This is the mint one from this morning. I just got it on my hands. Um, do have to run some errands today. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you guys have tried the, the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I think it is my favorite palette of all time. It's so easy to use, so neutral. I mean, I have it on right now. I don't know if you can really see. I've just It's just got so many neutral colors. I mean, you can, I don't know. There's just something about it that's very, very pleasing to me, and I look forward to grabbing it every morning. And so far, I've been doing something different every day, and I love the fact that all of the Color shades are not shade names. They're instructions on how to use or where to put it. And I think that's brilliant. I can't believe that no one thought about that till now. So 
But anyway, I'm gonna drink my smoothie. Um, I do, I'm gonna go upstairs and reply to comments from my video that went up this morning. I do have some editing to do, but I also had to prepare for work today. Um, I have to do a lot of prep. I have to run a couple errands and I have to work tonight. So, um, all right, I think I'll be able to check in with you sometime this weekend. Probably not the rest of the day because I've got so much to do, but hopefully I remember to vlog this weekend. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have not had a chance to hop back on. We've been pretty busy and then we took Sunday completely off. We did nothing but things we wanted to do. We did, I haven't even done my hair today. Um, we did get to get together, get to get together. We did get together with my son and his family. They were able to come, Emily and Connor, Connor's parents and Connor's grandma. So we all got together yesterday evening and had dinner and it was really nice. It was the first time I've seen everybody in a long time. We were still very careful. Um, but I left there, I left dinner last night just feeling revived, just like everything was good in the world again. And um, so yeah, today is prep for work. Um, I've got quite a few things and I've got laundry going, I'm trying to get laundry done, some prep stuff for work. Did most of my computer stuff this morning, um, but I don't think I'm leaving the house other than to go to the grocery store either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll do that today or tomorrow. Got to pick up a few things. Um, I did get a chance to paint my nails yesterday, thankfully, and messed up these four and had to do those all over again. I hate that. I need to figure out a way to get them to dry faster, but not using gel so that I don't have to soak them off in acetone. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I should have ended it yesterday. I just, honestly, I was enjoying the day off, just enjoying my family, my dogs, which are my family, part of my family, and just having a lazy day. I didn't even do laundry. I mean, I could have utilized those hours, but I said, you know what? Nope. I'm just going to do this. We did start watching a new show the third day. I think it's called the third day. Um, and it's pretty good. Um, we're not really sure what's happening yet, but it's good. Um, still watching the office, trying to slowly get to the end of that because I know it's almost over. And is there anything else we're watching? We did watch a movie. What did we watch? The Invisible Man. I can't remember her name, but she plays in A Hands Made Tale. She's, um, she's the main character in A Handmaid's Tale, and I think she's a fabulous actress. I cannot remember her name, but um, she's the star of this, and it was a really good movie. So, but that's what we did this weekend, just, or the, the, on, Saturday, on Sunday. Saturday we worked, um, but um, what did we do Saturday night? I don't remember what we did. I, I did a mask in my hair Saturday night. So that was late Saturday night. And then some friends of ours asked to come down for a bonfire. They didn't call us till 9.30. I was like, look, I just got out of the shower um, next weekend. But I think I mentioned a while back that a friend of mine, this is the couple that I'm talking about, he's dealing with AFib. Well, he's been back to work for a week now. He's doing much, much better. He is going to have the articular, whatever, the surgery that you go in through the thigh and repair the damage that's going on. And he's having that done the day before Thanksgiving. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers. But he's only 40 or 41 and he needs his life back. And I'm glad he's feeling better. But I'll be glad when that's all over with so that he can get back to his normal daily routine. Um, but anyway, yeah, we just came in from playing with the dogs. Just said that word out loud. And thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. I am trying to vlog as often as I can. But still have a life outside of vlogging and work and there's a balancing act and balance has become my word um you know a lot of people pick a word for the year this word just became my word in the last month balance and trying to balance not overdo in any one part of my life i'm trying to find balance and that's what sunday was all about this weekend was balance so all right guys i'll see you soon bye